Okay, hello everyone, Victor Momo from Excel Moments, and this is another example where I use the new regex functions. New as at May 2024, but this is June 2024, in case you're watching in 2048. So I use the new regex functions, you know, to solve problems that have to do with, you know, pattern matching, pattern recognition. So let me show you the example I have here today. So what I've done is just to get a fictitious minute of meeting, right? That kind of list will happen in the meeting and somehow you kind of have, you know, phone numbers of different individuals, right? The good thing is that the phone numbers follow, you know, a defined pattern. So you have four digits, you know, three digits and four digits. So 11 digits in all. And that's kind of like how our phone numbers are in Nigeria. Trust me, none of these numbers is mine. Okay, so, <laughs> all right. So you have four digits, a hyphen, three digits, a hyphen and uh, four digits. So what you want to be able to do is to extract all the numbers you have in here, you know, from this text so that maybe you can send all of them, you know, a message or send, you know, the minutes to them via WhatsApp. Okay, so how do we extract all those digits? Very simple when you use, you know, regex. The good thing is that there's a pattern. The question is, how do you write it? So in this case, we want to extract the phone numbers, right? So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a regex extract. Okay, so I'm going to give you this as my text, right? Everything is somewhere in there. I just collapsed it just to allow, um, you know, you see things properly here. Right, now the next thing is we want to go into the pattern. So the pattern, you know, typically will start up with a double quote. Now the first thing is this, what do we know? We know that what we are looking at are digits, right? Because phone numbers don't have alphabets, at least not yet. So we know that we are starting up with digits. So regex has, you know, tokens. That's like, you know, characters that represent different things. So when you want to talk about a digit in um, the context of regex, you could write something like this, 0 to 9 right so 0 to 9 here in square bracket just means that it could be any number between what 0 to 9 okay so you could write it this way but the shorthand for that in regex is also a backslash and a d of course if you are just writing a d it will look like it's looking for a d character so the backslash makes it know that this is a special use so this is looking for you know digits right so slash d here just means any number between 0 you know to 9 okay and you know that the first set occurs four times so if you want to put a count of how many times you know a particular token appears you put it in curly braces so this is what this means so what this means is that we're going to have four digits any number between zero to nine occurring four times what follows it is a hyphen right and after a hyphen you have you know digits three digits now you get the pattern you're going to do a slash d and you're going to say this occurs three times simple right now you know what to do you put another hyphen and then you put a slash d and this time you say it occurs what four times so that's your four three four giving you 11. you close the double quotes so let's say you stop here and then you close the brackets and you press let's say control enter and you see that it has extracted for us you know the first digit here the first phone number rather okay so that's that but we still have others that we haven't gotten so what do we need to do we just go in and we use the next argument the next argument says return mode if you put a comma and say return mode you see all matches and once you do all matches one and you press enter you see that automatically you have all the phone numbers from this so let's just check if you scroll down you can see two three four five six seven eight five you know okay so that's that there and you still have you know two more and those are all the numbers that you have you know from that text and you're able to get that very elegantly by just being able to match the patterns and not writing complex mid you know left right replace so this is really elegant so once you understand regex you know and you can see an identifiable pattern it's easy you know to get what you want so now it's just to get to whatsapp and send all these people you know the minutes of the meeting so that's what i thought to share in this video i hope you love it i know you do love it so please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel excel moments for now i'm out